Frank. How are you? I'm good. How are you? What brings you here? Um, yeah, I'm not feeling too happy. What? As of lately. Being, Why? Um, I'm, I'm feeling kind of ashamed, disappointed. Was this about last week's therapy? Because you were here with your wife last week. Or is this something new? Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's kind of related. Okay. Um, um, but before we continue, let me, like every session that we've been in, I need to remind you about um, confidentiality. You're safe here. Everything that we speak about is going to be safe. Except if you tell me that you feel like you're in an unsafe place or unsafe environment. You feel like hurting yourself or hurting other people. But other than that, we everything stays here. Okay? Okay. So... Um, go ahead. No, yeah, go ahead. Well, um, what's this concerning is, you? This is my son. He, um... He's a number three rated cornerback in America. Offers from all over the place mm -hmm. uh, for college. Um, I want him to include, he got an offer from my alma mater, University of Miami, Go Canes. And he said he feels some type of calling to do something bigger yes. and better. So he is foregoing college to join the United States military. And I have an issue with this. Okay, so you're telling me that your son, which is a really good football player, ranked number three in the country. Mm -hmm. um, the back in the country. Um, got a scholarship from University of Miami. Mm -hmm. He is not trying to go that route anymore. He's trying to pursue a career in the military. Am I understanding that correctly? Yeah, from a, yeah. I'm trying to make sure I'm understanding it correctly. Mm, seems like you're having a really hard time with that. What I am. is what's um, what's the concern with it? Why um, why is it so hard for you right now to assimilate that? Um, I, I raise him to be a hurricane, a diehard hurricane fan. He's loved him since he's been a little boy. Um. That's all he's known when he got his offer. He has 50 different offers from wow. Division One schools all across the country. Impressive. Mm -hmm. When he... It was, it was surreal for me as his father. Um, you know, I, I had a pretty okay career in college. Um, and so I kind of was always wondering where, when is he going to get this opportunity? When are they going to, um, is he going to get an opportunity to go to my alma mater when the offer came? Like, mm -hmm. I was so ecstatic. I was, I was, for lack of a better term, I was, I was giddy with excitement. And, um, when he just told me that he didn't want to go to any school, I, I would support his decision if he chose not to go to the U, but when he just said he didn't want to go to any school to just join the military, I feel like I lost my, my purpose. Um, well, um, to start with, it's, it's really brave of you to come here in the first place. I know it's difficult, and especially for um, football fans, family members, I'm sure, that you're having a really hard time trying to understand this, but your first step is here and trying to open up and talk about it. And that's, that's really impressive because a lot of people wouldn't talk about it and you're choosing to take that first step, even if it's hard for you to understand. So that is, um, I admire that and I respect that. Uh, it sounds like you're having a really hard time, but this is our first step. This is the first step that we can take in order for you to have a better understanding later on towards your um, 
your son's decision into going to the military and pursuing that career there. I think um, a lot of uh, a lot there has been a lot of football players. I will say there are in the NFL. Not a lot, but a few that have been in the military before. I'm sure you know their names. Um, I think like uh, Pat Tillman. Uh, I, think, I think his name is uh, Villanueva for the Steelers. Exactly. So there you go. You there's There's examples right there that, yeah, apart from having a military career or ending with a military career, it doesn't necessarily have to be maybe for 20 years. It could be for four years and he could be able to still pursue a career as a football player. However, if his decision right now is to um, follow that military career and you're having a hard time, I'm here to help you on how to cope with that um, and cope with your feelings of you said that you is is purposeless now. You don't. Oh, tell me more about that. Why? Why is that? Is is it more than you, or is it more? Is is there more that comes with it, or more expectations from people? Tell me more about that. I think part of me just kind of. You try to set your kids up for the best, you know. Yes. Like hours upon hours, weekends after weekends, the football games, practices, training, regiments, everything like that. And, you know, I, I'm i not a big fan of um, the way the country's being ran. Um, and, I, and I feel like I'm, I would blame myself if, if he dies in some type of combat or mission operation or something like that, you know, based off of something that someone in charge of us says or does or someone in charge of him says or does. Um, I don't really feel like I have the support of my family, which is weird because we all wanted this for him. At least I thought we all wanted him to be a Miami Hurricane. Uh, my friends, they're you know, trying to convince me that this is okay. Like, oh man, you can... But I think they're just jealous because my son is better than theirs, and you know, with, with him going to the military. What do you What do you mean with that? Can you clarify that for me? Do you mean that y you're f you're What do you mean they're jealous of him, and in what way? Because of his football skills, or can yeah, you I mean, clarify I mean, that yeah, for he's, me? He's the number three cornerback in the country. I mean, in the entire United States, there are only two other guys at his position better than him. So yeah, I feel like the they got sons who are just not as good, don't got what it takes. I don't want to say they trash, but they're just not as good as my kid. And I think they feel like if he goes in the military, it's, it's kind of like getting them out the way so their sons can get more opportunity. So, I, yeah, I think they're jealous. I don't think they actually care about what happens to him. I think they just care about what's best for their kids. Have you um, maybe tried to talk about that with your son or have you tried to um, talk to your family members about it or how, are you afraid to do that? What do you, what do you think about that? Well, first thing, like, I want to make it very clear. I appreciate my son. I appreciate everything Good. he does. He's a hard worker. He's dedicated. He's focused. You know, he's one of the best kids I ever met, and, and I'm trying not to be biased about that. Uh, I just don't understand where this came from, you know, and, and I don't understand where he got this idea from, and I think it's you know, a podcast he's listening to or something, I don't know, but... But the good thing about it is that you are recognizing that your son is a hard worker. You're recognizing the fact that he is, that you appreciate him, regardless of what he is going to end up doing it's always good to know that um that you it's, it sounds like you're going to support him through everything but it's, it's also good if you let him know that when you're ready of course when you feel ready to 
um, let him know about how much you appreciate him and maybe um, always could be a good thing to to go together probably to tell family members and tell them what his decision is about his future and about his career I think it will make it easier for him if he has some support from you since you are since you appreciate him so much he might need that support as well yeah I understand that I, like I said I just feel like I just can't help from the fact like that I did something wrong. Maybe I pushed him too hard, or you know, maybe I, you know, put him on a pedestal and on too many, you know, recruiting sites and stuff. But it's like, I, I, but I want what's best for him. You know, I see him having a future in this. If I didn't a long time ago, I would have told him to stop and tell him pick up something else. Like, you know, why he got to this point. Oftentimes, um, I've, I think that oftentimes parents uh, will blame themselves over decisions that their, their kids are doing that doesn't go along with how they were brought up. Like, for example, in your case right now, your son is deciding to go and pursue a military career. It's, it's not a bad career. However, you're feeling some type of way because it's not the career path that you would have chosen for him. And of course you're blaming yourself because of his decision, but um, we're not really thinking about maybe you did everything that you were able to do as a parent. And his decision is not based off of what you've done for him. You know, so throughout um, throughout this session, um, for next session, I'm going to give you um, the uh, Rosenberg self-esteem scale and the flourishing scale. Those are basically for me to know and to to know for next time to be aware if you have purpose in life, if you feel like if you have purpose in life as well as if you feel satisfied with yourself. Um, I'm going to give them to you at the front desk and then we'll make an appointment for next time. That way we can check in about how things are going. Would um, next time, next week at this time will be okay? Yes. Next Friday? Okay. So let's check in at the front desk. We'll write that down and I'll give you the copies of the skills and then we go from there, okay? Okay. All right, have a good week. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh, hi, Frank. How are uh, you? I'm good. How's, uh, how's your weekend? It's good. I wore the same yeah. shirt, so. Oh, yeah, I'm wearing the same outfit. So, um, so how did everything go? It's been a week. Um... Well, I think the first thing I did is I, I sat down and talked to him about it. I, I I never been in a position where I told him my feelings about anything. Um, but I told him how I felt. But I also told him that I'm here to support him and whatever he chose to do. Mm -hmm. And he's he's gonna go. Um, he has plans on he's considering being a Navy SEAL or um, an Army Ranger. Nice. So, um... How are you feeling about it? I'm good. He, he kind of gave me some stuff to read up on. What they seem to do is actually kind of kind of cool. So, um, I just, just want him to be safe. You know, I don't... I want him to be safe and conscious about the decision he makes. You know, um, it, go ahead. Yeah, I'm sorry. And then, um, we, you know, we sat down and talked with the family as nice. a whole. And, you know, we all kind of came to that idea that, you know, while it's disappointing for me, it's not about what, what's, what I want, it's about what everybody else wants. So, mm -hmm. or, or he wants, I'm sorry. So. Do you have any, um, any concerns, let's say, if they were not accepting of, of his decision? What would be your concern? 
if they were not accepting of that because there could have been a possibility or there could be a family member or a friend that is not accepting of it. And I know from previous sessions, you mentioned that having your friends and your family support is very important to you and your family as a, as a whole. So would it, what would it mean to you? Um, I felt reluctant to have him do this because like I said uh, in our last session that, you know, I, I felt as if they were jealous, but if they are jealous, my, my friends that is, that's not my concern. I, I think what my son's getting ready to do is a lot more uh, influential, you know, these, what those guys do and I got a guy a little bit more gaining and understanding about it. Um, it's admirable. It's 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 something bigger than yourself, and and I'm I'm appreciative of that. So even if my son doesn't go on and make you know millions of dollars playing football, you know he's doing something that is bigger than him. And I, and I get the concept of football as teamwork and you know fighting alongside your brother and your or your you know your brother or your sister to your left to your right, but. You know, that's kind of the same thing as the military, and I support that. Exactly. Yeah. I I, um, I, admire you for that. Um, not only, like I said in last week's session, that is a lot for somebody to admit there's something going on and to admit that they are not okay with something. Come to therapy, that's big enough, but for you to come to... The following week, accepting and being more open-minded to the idea that it doesn't align with what you've been thinking or what the way that you were raised, um, it says a lot because you're willing to try, even though that's something that you were not okay with before, you're willing to try for your son. And even if your family members or friends are not okay with it, which I'm glad it turned out good. Um, you're still supportive of him. You're gaining more information about what he's going to be doing instead of shutting it down and not wanting to know anything. So that's um, that's pretty impressive. That's that's a big step for you, and I think it's going to help a lot in your family as well as your having your sons um, in your life and you giving him your support. But uh, were you able to bring the um, the scales back? Oh, yeah. Okay. Are this Okay, they're the ones right here. Mm -hmm. So, um, you scored pretty high. That, that's really good. Were you... When when you did the scales, were you... Um, were you... It was it before or after you talked to your son and you talked to your family about it? Because your score is really high, so it's, it, it means good. Like, you're happy, you're satisfied. But I just want to know, like, when was it? Um, it was after. Um, we, we had the opportunity to... Um, I didn't want to do this in a bad place. Yes. And I felt like if I did it in a bad place, um, I'd be defeating the purpose. So I got a chance to clear my head, gather my thoughts, talk to my son, talk to my family, talk to my friends, and then I did it, and I think... Obviously, it was pretty beneficial. Yeah, I, I think it is because um, it sounds it looks like you are happy with your life, uh, happy with things how things are going. You're satisfied. You compared to what you said last week, you have purpose now, and that's that's really good. Um, I could understand also if there are some times that you're not feeling okay, and that's okay because this is something new for you. Is the first one in your family going into the military, I suppose. And it's okay. Together here in therapy, we can work through it. We can come up with skills. We come up with ideas, way to work on things that you can apply it outside here. You can, um, you can use that with your family, with your son. But as long as we keep on trying and we work together... Is, is going to be okay okay so um, I'm going to give you some homework for next week um, it's not really like difficult or anything but um, I want you to 
just keep that open mind with your son and hopefully get more information about what he's going to do um but yeah that's that's basically it you're already on the right track and you're already doing that so maybe just being more involved and just getting more information about it and maybe doing it with him i think it will create a good bonding between you guys but um yeah so i will see you next week okay thank all you all right next friday all right i'll see you later all right. bye